Hey people, what's going on? I am the Broken Puppet and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a classic old school rose. Now it's not going to be the small kind, it's going to be the more big elaborate one. It's going to teach you in much more detail how to do the extra stuff and how to make it really fun and interesting. Now I'm going to do this on the iPad Pro and the app I'm going to be using is called Procreate. It's a really good app. You can do this on paper with pens, markers, whatever you want. Just copy what I do on here on there. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five layers. So we're going to have sketching, refining, colour, shading and line work. We're basically going to start off with sketching and refining. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to sketch it out on this one. I'm going to turn it down such, you know, kind of refine it, make it look a bit more neat. And then we do the line work and the shading colour sitting underneath. But we'll talk through it as we do it. So I'm going to start off with sketching. I'm going to use technical pencil. So it's on a sketching uh, sketching part. Technical pencil. I'm going to use a dark red down here. And that's just part of my Broken Puppet um, colour, uh, colour palette set. You can get this from my uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. It's all on there. Copy it so you can use the exact same colours I use if you want. So here we go. I'm going to start off with just sketching a nice big circle in here, just like so. Don't be neat, just kind of sketch it in roughly. And once we get to back here, I'm going to curve these edges. I'm going to come here and just curve these edges in a touch. And same there, I'm just going to curve these edges in a touch. And then through this, I'm basically going to draw a line. I'm going to make some of lines coming off of this. I'm going to go a line over here, a line over there, one going there, and maybe two going there. So just creating this nice looking pattern that kind of sits over the top. And this is going to be basically overturned petals. So you see the base here, it's going to be the base, and these are going to be overturned petals. So basically when you want to line like this, what we're going to do is kind of create some loops right. It's going to go one, two, three. So create three loops coming off of that one. This one's going to go this way, so one, two, three. This one I'm going to have over here, maybe one. So you maybe just sort of change it up. I'm going to have one curve in, I'm going to make a little loop just there. Coming off this way, and one curving out that way. Now once you get this in a bit here, I'm going to create a spiral, so I'm going to go up around and curve around and make this kind of spiral loop. Now real simple, just go all the way around like so. And we can see little lines just on the edge, just come into it, so it kind of sits inside the shape we done. So we've got this nice looking bud in the, in the center of it. Off top of this, I'm going to do a little circle shape, another little circle shape just there, and a bigger one just kind of sitting above it. So that's basically the top of the bud done. And once you've got this, we can start branching out and making this next set of layers, which is going to be around here, the second set of petals. Now, I like to make sure there's at least five petals. You can do more, but make sure there's at least five. If there's not five, it doesn't quite look right in my opinion. Now for my ones, I'm going to curve out like this, create a little loop, and come back. It's a very traditional, classic old way of doing the old school petals on the outside. I'm going to loop these around. I'm not going to make them the exact same size. I'm going to make them roughly, but I'm not going to be like getting the exact measurements. Now, it doesn't matter if they're you know 100% perfect. So you've got five there, so you've got one, two, three, four, five. Now I've got that. This is the basic build up for the rose now. So you see most of the stuff's in here, the basic outline. And now we're gonna start adding some leaves on the outside. Now the leaves are really kind of like to bring the design out. And there's really no limit on how many leaves you can do. You can do as many as you want. You know, some people just like a couple, I like quite a lot. So I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna have quite a few. So I'm gonna have a line coming down here. I'm going to create a curve on the outside. I'm not making it neat at this point, this is all just sketchy. You know, don't worry about it, it's designed to be sketchy at this stage. So I'm going to have three here, I'm going to have one up here, main big one, two here, maybe a little one just on the side, so it's got a few more. One down here, I think. Another one up here with three, maybe four just up there. Oh, no, I have three, so I've got four on this side, so four, three, I might have two, three here, and down there. So it's a nice kind of build up now. So now we've got this, I'm going to turn this down a touch, go on a refining layer, and now I'm going to refine it. So it's basically pretty much kind of what we've done, just making sure all the shapes are exactly how I want them, and everything's where they are. You know, it's like basically the final touch up before you decide to do your line work, just making sure everything is right. And if you want to make any changes, now's the time to make those changes. You know, I think it's a very important step and a very good step to do. You know, even if it is that you're just going over everything you've done, it's worth doing it to make sure all the shapes are just right. So see, I'm basically going around and I'm just kind of correcting the shapes as I go. You know, if there's a line I don't feel is quite right, I need to lose a little bend or a little twist. You know, now's a good time to do that. Let's get that little curve bit in there. You know, you can make it dead round and that. I like to have this kind of sort of like cup shape, so it kind of sort of sits around the outside. It just makes it a really nice you know, way of doing it. You know, with the petals running outside, there's lots of ways of doing these. You could go up to a point rather than the three shapes. 
If you just got a squiggly line around it, if you wanted to, you could have a simple curve where it's just like one curved line. Now you could do like an M shape. There's lots of different ways of doing them. This is just one way, and I just think it's a really effective way of doing it. The one thing I will say, I do like it when there's one that sits directly on the bottom part of the waves. Now that's one rule that I like to try and keep. Now for the leaves down here, I'm going to make these kind of sort of like V-shaped stems. So a nice big V in the centre. Coming outwards like this. I'm going to create this little diamond shape at the top. So you've got two lines like this, and then the rest is going to be straight lines. Come down at an angle on either side. These ones on the other side, I'm going to do one with a little split, the other one not with that split. So I've got three variations. So this one's different this one, this one. I'm going to mix and match these to create a nice kind of outside appearance. So again, it's quite a nice V-shape down the centre, create that diamond tip, create this bit more curve, this one's not as curved as it should be. So I said, this is where you're going to kind of want to correct yourself, so again, don't worry about being neat at this stage, you know, the pens where we start getting neat, this is all about just getting everything where you want it to be. You know, it's really important to add leaves on the outside, and I just feel like it looks, looks much, much better with lines on the outside. Lines on the outside with petals on the outside. Not petals, leaves. <laughs> Sorry, people, it's been a long day. Just around here, on the inside part of this, I'm adding this secondary line you can see just around here, on the inside parts. And now you'll see it more clearly when we sort of do the line work, but it's a really effective, you know, sort of technique. It's gonna make it look really cool. So now we've got the basic sketch done, we're going to come in here and do line work now. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to go on line work, and you've got a few options. You can use on the inking section, you've got technical pen, which is really good, studio pen. You've got a few other ones on here that are nice and that, but I think the best one's for old school. If you go down to the calligraphy, you've got mono line. Now mono line I like because when you move around with this, it gives a perfectly even line the whole way through, which is a really good trait for old school, because it's what you generally do, you have like a nice even line weight the whole way through. So we're going to do this. I'm going to cut across this, so make sure up here, make sure you've got your line work selected now. I'm going to come across like this. I'm going to start sketching in all this line work. Now a really good way of using this on the iPad because it's very different from normal drawing. And that's if you get yourself in position and kind of lock your hand on where so you don't want to move around too much like this. You don't do this. Kind of lock it in place and come across. And it really helps you get control over your lines. I think it's really good practice at this stage as well. Once you start doing this line work, to do it in one smooth motion. You know, it's very satisfying, it's very rewarding. And if you want to get a perfect line, you can draw, hold it for a second, and then make the edge go perfect, like here, this curve here. And draw it, hold it, and you can see it makes like a perfect curve. You don't have to do that, but it's a very nice technique you can do if you want to get that nice, perfect edge. Up here, so you can see me zoomed in, so you can see it nice and clearly. So there's two curves just here, and this one I'm going to curve up to a point and curve out just like so. Come down here to the bottom, Great curve around, again lock your hand, go around. It's just a very nice way of doing it, it just really helps. If you find that with your iPads, you don't like the surface of it, sometimes um, the glass was a bit too slippery, you can get what I've got on here, which is really good. It's uh, basically um, a screen protector, but it's paper-like. You know, if you've got Amazon, you can, you know, there's a lot of places to sell them, but they're really good. It just makes a much better feel to the paper. So you see, that's a nice build-up for the outside part. I'm gonna come here, bring my line in, bring my line in, start with a big V shape for the stem. And once you've got a stem, bring a curve out. Now these ones have got like a nice simple curve like this. You can have it like this, you know, otherwise you could do this. You could curve out, curve around and make bumps. Now this looks really good. You can come down and make like a jagged edge, so it looks like a bit more kind of leafy. But these ones are like this kind of nice, simple, smooth texture.
just keep building these up one by one. You know, I'm allowed to keep them fairly even, don't sort of go too much of a change with them. I try to make each leaf on the outside kind of feel like the same kind of one. So this one, the ones with the line through, keep them about the same sort of size. This one without, keep it about that size. Now I just think the leaves look nice when they're nice and even sort of size on the old school ones. Which is the opposite of the Neo Trad. If you did Neo Trad, I think playing around with the size is very important. I have big massive ones with smaller ones, it looks really cool. But that's more of a Neo traditional thing. outside part just here and you've got this really cool little one over here so see that's the basic bold outline done so now we're at this stage I'm going to go on here I'm going to turn off that refining layer because I don't need that now but what I'm going to do is go back onto the line work layer I'm going to shrink this down so I have a much thinner line now you see I'm going to add these little thin line details now a lot of bold school you don't have this but I just think a little bit of thin line detail works really nice regardless of style so I'm going to bring this across here I'm going to create a secondary line just on the inside of the bud. Just on these two little bits here. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to put on the big one. Turn the side bit just there. Just there. And lastly, there. Just turn it back around so you can see. So, yeah, just around that inside bud area, I have that. I'm going to come down that inside these leaf areas and create these secondary lines. Keeping them roughly about the same distance apart. Keep the angle nice and steady. Just go all the way down it. Both sides. I like to try and match them up so they kind of like, it's the same amount on each side. Don't know if they don't match up perfect, but just try and match them roughly around the same so there's roughly about the same amount of strokes going down it. Just keep them going the whole way through. Now I just think it's really nice, especially when they match up the same sort of strokes. You know, if they're a bit uneven, sometimes it just doesn't quite look right to me. You know, it's personal preference. We we'll need to put the top diamond belt on that one. I missed that. And don't worry about going the same speed as me. I know I go very quick with this. You know, it's only because I've drawn these a million times over. I'd love to work out how many roses I've drawn in my lifetime. Must be countless. Let's quickly make that line shape. And then have those lines coming down again. Really simple, really cool, really effective. And that's it for the line work. So once you've got this stage, line work's done. So go up here, click on your line work, and make sure this button here is selected. It's called reference. Now what reference is gonna do, is gonna make it when you click this button up here, which is the selection tool, have it set to automatic down here. Now any layer you select, I'm going to go down shading, and any layer it's going to select from that line work now. So I'm going to click here, it's going to select just inside this bit here. Click on it and drag it across and you're going to see up here it's going to say selection threshold. It's going to save you a lot of stress, just make sure it's in the high 90s. So it's percentage, so make sure it's somewhere between 90 and like 98. Don't go up to 100 because it'll select everything like this. But yeah, just make sure it's in the high 90s. And what that do, that stop it getting this little annoying white edge around the outside. Very simple solution. So I'm going to start with the leaves. I'm going to select all the leaf bits just here. The only part I'm not going to select is the stems. I like the stems to kind of sit in front. It's a really nice effect when you get this nice bold color against the black. But yeah, so I'm going to select these. I mean, I'm going to select all the way to the top of these because I'm not going to shade all the way to the top. But it's just easier to, to, for you guys to see if I select everything that I'm going to do. that 
those ones, and lastly these ones just here. Boom, 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 boom. If the whole screen goes blue, it basically means you clicked on the line work. So just undo if you do that. So I've got it selected. So I'm going to click up here. I like to use spray paint for old school. It's a really nice effect. So make sure it's very large on here. Full blast. And we're just going to come from outside the box. So you see, we just got these layers selected. So it's only going to shade inside the areas we just clicked on. I'm going to start from outside it and just slowly build up into it like this. And you see, it gets this really nice shade. You know, and with a spray paint, you get this really nice grainy effect. So it just makes it feel a bit more interesting, a bit more lifelike. You know, the airbrushing is very cool in your ones, but sometimes they feel a bit too smooth. And when they're too smooth, they just don't feel real. You know, and I like these. I think this makes it feel really real. So it's across the bottom of each one of those leaves. I'll just shade it from the bottom, just up a little bit with pure black. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select each leaf, or each petal rather, I'm going to have black coming through the centre like this. Now you've got a few options, you can do it like that way, you can do it without that, you can get a bit of black on the edges and the bottom, but for these ones I'm just going to have black from here, I just think it's a golden rule, this works really nice, just really simple. Get there. I'm going to do this one on each one of these now. So a bit of black, just curving in a circular motion, coming from the base. like so just like so and then a little bit just inside I'm not the uh, the border we done I'm not gonna do it inside the borders I'm just gonna do it just here so I'm gonna come off this edge a bit here a bit come up this way a bit just there not crazy just a bit of shadow on the inside part it just makes it help sit a little bit different from the rest of it which I really like and that's pretty much it for the shading so now we can go to colour so now it's colour, I'm going to start with, well, I'll start with one so you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the reds, which I really like, it's this really classic old school red I use. I'm going to come up, using the spray paint tool again, I'm going to fade out. So this is the effect I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to do this, but options you could do, you can turn this down, you can go like, right up to the edge like this, shade these in, and leave like a little highlight on the outside, which looks really nice. You can shade up, and as soon as I've showed you with the shading, you can do this and kind of come from these corners, like that, which looks really cool. You can just shade across on the bottom and top, leaving a little highlight through the center, which looks really nice as well. But for this one, just a really nice classic kind of fade, just like this. Really simple effect. Oops, sorry, going back step there. You can do this on all of these ones. That. Just like that. Just believe it or not, just like this. Now it is old school, so you've got to remember the idea of old school, old school is to make it very bold, you know. You know, it's a statement piece, it's a big bold thing, you know, it's in your face, it's there. And you want it to feel that way. So you're gonna start red there, I'm just gonna do nice and solid. You can leave a little highlight if you want. You know, there's nothing wrong with highlight, you could do a little highlight down the centre if you wanted to. You know, but I prefer it nice and bold. You know, classic of the rose. And this one here, I'm going to have black come across here. Sorry, uh, red white, not black. Cool, so now we've got the red done, I'm going to start working on the other colours. I'm just going to start off this little bit here. I'm going to paint a soft airbrush. It's going to colour this bit in a nice pink. Once it's got that bit done this there. I'm now going to select the left hand side on all these leaves. And on these split ones, I'm going to select the left hand side on these as well. The idea is I basically want like certain colours to fit in a few different kind of sections. And it just makes a really nice pan. It just makes it make much more sense towards the end. So yeah, it's going to all left hand sides to begin with. So what's got done, I'm going to select this nice green. Again, this is on my uh, Broken Puppet set. You can get off my Instagram, Facebook and stuff. And once I've got that done, select the right hand side now. And instead of selecting the right hand side here, we're going to select these single ones. So they're single leaves that don't have no lines in. I'm going to have these a different colour. I'm going to have these, this nice, an army greenish brown colour. 
it's a lovely colour, works really nice against this green. Now they're both kind of muted and just makes it kind of work that way. Now I'm going to set the stems and the other side of those leaves. These, I don't know for sure, I definitely want to do these yellow, I love doing these yellow. So you now get this nice kind of free kind of gradients, you know, 3D, so it just like stands out really nicely. And these bits on the end, you can do a few different colours if you want. You know, you can do them like orange, could do them a blue tone. But me, I'm going to go red. I want that red to kind of carry through a bit. And then the last little bit we've got left is here in the background. So I'm going to start off with these bits. And again, these you can do many different colours. You can do them orange. You could do them pink. You could even go a bit of sort of, you know, sort of greyish tone with it. With that spray paint tool. Just coming off the edge looks pretty good. A bit of grey. Hasn't always got to be colour. You can do yellow. Into caramel tone. Which looks really nice. But my favourite combination, which I'm going to do now. Combination single colour, really. Is this blue. It's a nice steel blue. I just thought this contrast really nice with the red. It's my favourite way of doing it. It's a bit from either side of it. Just like that. And once I've got done, the last little touch is going to be the background. So I'm going to select black. Not quite big, so I'm not going to go very dark though, just very faint or like a kind of grey tone. Just a little bit of background. You know, this isn't extra, you haven't got to do this. It just makes it stand out nice and kind of brings the rose forward a little bit. And that's it, people. You know, there's a lot of things you can do, but this is the basic build up, and it's just a really nice way to sort of learn how to structure these kind of roses and make them look really nice. You know, I understand it doesn't have to be just the basic simple ones. You know, which a lot of people do. You know, there's a lot of variation, and this is just a really nice way of doing it. And I hope you like it. Check my videos. If you're new to this channel, make sure you click subscribe and make sure you click the little bell button next to it to get notified when I put more videos. Okay? Very, very important. But for now, people, I need broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy.